Thank you so much, Michelle Adidas. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, I, I first want to go ahead and just go down the checklist. First of all, let's start with the birthday, okay. Michelle. And uh, I'm 52 years old on Monday, and uh, age is really just a number. Always remember that. Uh, but let's really start talking about uh, when I played. Okay, I played 1978, and uh, <laughs> it was a different day. It was a different time. Uh, Michelle talks about how I forged the trail. Well, I forged the trail because I weighed 175. I mean, come on, get right behind me. And uh, I want to talk about that a little bit. I, I don't normally open up with, uh, you know, comments about weight and how you look and how you feel, but I'm gonna. And that's because I love this sport so much because it accepts every single body type in the world. You can be big girl club, you can be little girl club, you can be big bones, you can be little bones. And I was little bones, but I was in the big girl club when I played ball. And uh, I never really saw that as a negative. And I had the opportunity to play a sport that allowed me to succeed. And I got a lot of confidence from that because many times we get caught like we're sneaking a peek in the mirror, right? We're like we're going down, we're in the parking lot, it's sunny, it's a beautiful day, and there's that reflection on that mirror and you're kind of checking. You're kind of checking a little bit, right? We check a little bit. That's just what we do. And that's okay. But I want today to be a turning point for anybody that's not sure about what they see. Because I wanna say, first and foremost, to each and every one of you student athletes, congratulations for picking the most difficult sport to master. And you are mastering it. You are in the process of mastering your sport. Many of you are the go-to in your team or in your town. And how many times do you wake up and, and look at yourself and say, huh, I got it going. I got it going a little bit. And if you don't, I don't want us to start doing that. Because this sport will give you so much. And you know what, gang? This is just a stopping opportunity this weekend. Everybody's got to stop tonight. You're going nine ways to Sunday every week, trying to get it done. Everybody wants a piece of you. Get your homework done and do this and don't go out late and don't stand with these people and I need more of this. And you're going, 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 going. And this weekend you get to stop and fall in love with your sport again. Because Adidas has taken the opportunity to say you're special. Not because you're lucky that you got picked, you earned it. You sit here tonight because you earned it. So every single day when you wake up in the morning, whether you're in a good mood or a bad mood, remind yourself that you're a part of a sport, the most difficult, and I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later, and you're succeeding. You're succeeding, it's huge. Now that's good news and bad news because some of us kind of get feel a little bit of pressure when that happens. We're gonna talk a little bit about that. And some of you are just rolling. You're in a good place, I'm just rolling. But eventually you're gonna hit a little stop. And we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about every part of the game that you're gonna put in your back pocket starting tomorrow. And it's stuff, whether you are a power hitter, whether you're a slapper, whether you're a finesse pitcher, whether you blow steam and smoke over those 17 inches, it doesn't matter. From this day forward, you're gonna start documenting your success from within. And when you start looking in that mirror right now, you see all the things you are and not all the things you're not. And it starts with you because once you learn to rely on yourself when it comes to feeling your emotional well, you can dip into that whenever you want. I know, it's so great to have mom there. It's awesome to have dad there and your extended family. But eventually, 
when it's time to come, come to college. You don't have that right there in your back pocket. I know many of you do with your texting, but it, at the end of the day, you're gonna fly the coop one day. And I wanna share with you some things to hang on to so you can go out there and have fun. F-U-N. Because that's why you are consistently good is you pick something you really enjoy. Now, please believe, I know, there are tough days, are there not? Anybody in the room ever struck out yet? Raise them. That's right. And there are days where everything doesn't work out perfectly, right? But you just go ahead and plow through it. There are days where it's raining and they're playing and the field's crappy, but you plow through it. There are days where literally the dugouts don't have shade and the parking's crummy and your parents have to walk a mile and the field is crappy and your shoes don't feel good and your gloves not quite right, your back, but you plow through, don't you? And that's why you're here. 